We've been here once before. There were a couple of treasures we could get here. There's a big Octorok, and there is, as you can partly see, a treasure chest up there. There's also a Korok there. Can represent it, which I'm not going for. And as you remember, we can get, we can go in here because apparently the door is magic or something. Now you're probably wondering how to get access. Now the master is actually Miss Marie, as some of you may remember, I did the side quest where you deal with the killer bomb. Killer bees, not killer bombs. And then you basically play hide and seek with them, you catch them for Miss Marie. And then you bring her a bunch of joy pendants, and then she'll give you the cabana deed. Now, once you give it to this guy, he's, where is he? He's not the one with the pirates. That's a weird face he has. And now, it's my oasis. I am king of this tiny but awesome island. That is my umbrella. I don't care about you, Korak. That is my tiny island. I'm my tiny island. That's my palm tree. And this is my cabana. Gaze at its mighty glory. Yep. And you can also put decorations on it. Not really matters. I'll probably link back to the part where I do the killer um, killer bees and all. And we have more butlers and uh maid. A very hideous maid, if I might say so. Yeah. It's actually not a bad place. I don't know why it doesn't have a bed. Actually, yeah, this cabana, in my opinion, it's yeah. not that bad, really. Also, we have a puzzle here. <gasps> which, I do not know how to play. How to, I've never completed any of them. All you get is money, but I do not think it's worth it. I'm gonna. S I just can't figure out how to do it. I like puzzles like this actually, I but I just cannot figure this one, any of these out. They're like various characters, Tetra being one of them, etc. And that guitar solo is pretty cool. Who do these people sound like? The butler and the person in the painting. I swear their voices sound familiar. I just, I literally can actually put it together. I actually don't, I honestly do not remember whose voices they are. I'm pretty sure it's one of the pirates. Also that maid, quote unquote maid, is creepy. Seriously. Break my pot! <gasps> money, 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 money! This is an, another good Ruby hoarding spot. I can honestly highly recommend it. Because, well, it basically restocks every time you save. And it's not. And it doesn't work out a tingle tune, which some of you may not have. I. Well, it's. That's probably the main reason why you do this. Not only. Money, 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 money. If only I could fire you or get a better looking maid. Oh, Shigaru. 
You're almost as much as a troll of hit of Hito Kojima. Which is to say you're not really much of a troll in comparison. So this is basically a maze. There are a lot of rats. They're pr probably the only enemy if memory serves. You're just gonna go in through room and room. Open most of the gates. Not really much to it. For the uh, truthfully, I do not remember how to do it. I think there are some optional treasures here. You can hear, for instance. Money, 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 money. Oh, okay, I already hit that. So, let's see what else. This is honestly kind of poor. What the? Okay. So, let's first go up here. Stupid rat. Okay. Get away from me, rats! Oh. This is how we came. Damn it. Okay, so... Let's just try this again. I don't know why both holes lead to the same place. And that constant enemy music is getting on my nerves. <gasps> More money! It's like a dream come true! I think this is the right way to go. Yeah, it should be. Uh, trust me when I see this, but at some point you will know you're going the right way. It's possible to actually glitch through the gates, but you will know you've reached, you're going the right way, and now you're almost. Wait. Is this hurting the rats? But you'll know when you're all, when you're almost at the end. There is a particular hole that looks quite different, and you'll basically know at that point that you've reached the end. I'm not gonna spoil what, but you'll just know. Ooh, treasure. Very nice. You know, I have to wonder something. What is a school teacher like Miss Marie doing with a cabana like this where it has a complex maze that houses a piece of the Triforce? I don't get that. That's one of the many mysteries of this game. It's like, how did... What? We should be going to right... Yeah, we are going. Hey! No! My money! All of you die. Okay, we're at the end of it. Just when I say this, there is no ladder. You wanna know why? Yeah. 
Yeah, you didn't think me down with them, did you? And see how nice I am? I didn't even try to scare you guys. I didn't even let them scream or anything. So much money. I got a texture on this particular room though. Looks cool. Now let's raise up another question. What is a school teacher doing with a cabana that has this under it and that houses the undead? Can someone explain that? Can someone also explain that to me? Is she, does she have a necrophilia fetish or something? Because I would really love to know. You know what? The killer bees were right to antagonize her. They they knew all about this. That she was a necrophiliac. And that she was gonna do it. And they tried telling the townspeople. They tried telling us what they probably thought we, that we thought they were crazy. But no. The townspeople are crazy. Or maybe the person who just assigned this is a necrophiliac. Or something else, I don't know. But we're done here. And I'm hoping that the pots have restocked. Because that would be amazing. You're all fired. Now we're stalking my money. And I want you burn. I don't care if you guys actually leave or not, but you are burning this thing. And also this thing, too. So, I'll meet you all on Tingle Island. And I'm serious. Burn the witch! And I'm serious. Burn the maid. Okay, so, I kind of grew. There is a chart that actually shows the locations of all the big Octoroks. And I thought that was at Tingle Island. Which is where I am right now. But there isn't. There is a big Octorok. I can't seem to find it. But I'm just going to meet you all at Stonewatch Island because I don't feel like looking. And I'm going to save the uh, Tingle Island for the end when we need to get all the Trifers chart. Need to get all the Trifers pieces. So I'll meet you all at Stonewatch Island. Okay. You've tried to hit me at least 20 times since I left Tingle Frickin' Island. Why don't you just give up? You're not gonna hit me, even with the. It's, thank you. Finally realized he's not gonna hit me. And no, the extra heart piece that I lost, the extra health I lost, was not to that guy. Or it was due to one of the CS that assisted it. It wasn't able to hit me with the assistance of for, of allies. So I believe like we came to this island at some point. And there wasn't really much. Was there enemy music? Why is there enemy enemy music? I think I already got the treasure there, but I'm just gonna check when we're done here. I don't know, but there should be a Baluchu right over there. Which I already killed anyway. The face of a true mod. I 
love that face. I truly do. And I believe you already know what we're gonna do in here. So basically, this is another kill or the enemy, enter room, kill all enemies, exit room, go to the next room, be process type of thing. So I'm gonna cut ahead to where we killed all but the dark nuts at the end. And I'll see you guys then, because I wanna paint a bit different and show you guys the dark nuts. With me talking over it, because why not? I was kind of swimming around at some point, as you guys can tell. So I was going to have to take out the dark nuts. I don't know why only this one bothered to come at me. Oh, there's only two. I love how that one is even bothering. He's letting his buddy do a little work. Damn it! Whoa, he knocked it down with his. He knocked it down with his. Kick! With a roundhouse kick! Wow. I'm impressed. I have to admit, I really do love just taking bombs and putting them by defeat of enemies. It's just so much fun, I don't know why. Also remember when those things hit if those things hit you, you actually will take damage. Like that. And I'm probably gonna get a heart instead of treasure. Or arrows. I have full bombs and arrows. Why did I think one of these areas is like an, a transition every time you enter one of those kill all e every kill everything rooms. Maybe we already did that. I don't know. There's no one that does it. Does that? Yay, for another Triforce try that we still can't do Kava Vow. Okay, so right now, I guess we might as well check out that tower over there. I mean, again, I'm pretty sure he did it. Did It It would be nice if I actually didn't, though, because that would be one of those hardest to get. It is quite the armed tower, though. I have to platform. I have to pit. There is no other platform armed like it. I actually kind of warned you guys to be careful when you're climbing up because that cannon is a jerk. I've had times where it actually shot me. I was about to climb, and yeah, I already did this, so I'm not gonna bother. So, right now, I guess we'll just visit the island directly east of us. 
and I mean west, and then we'll call it we'll call it a day. I'll meet you guys over here. Most original. Actually, getting in isn't really that hard at all. And I thought that was a bomb for a second. You can kind of see there's treasure over there, actually. Which I'll be getting after we take out all of the cannons. Because, you know, that's going to be a pain to do, deal with. The only annoying thing is those two cannons over there and the ship directly in the entrance. It's a war zone. Oh wow, that nearly hit me. Oh god! What the? Oh, there's one over there. Wow, I didn't know. <laughs> he, he shot his ally. I'm losing the... <laughs> that one didn't even hurt me, but it was hit me spot on. Get over here. Yeah. So apparently, the battleships got the good AI, but the Kangarox and every other enemy didn't. Wow. Oh wow, the bombs actually hit each other. And the kangaroos are also something to kind of worry about. What? Isn't there... I want to hit that freaking kangaroo. I'm now content. Actually, it might not be a bad idea to... There's treasure there, actually. From what I saw. Like, um... You know, somewhere where the ships were, there's treasure, which... I might want to check out, just in case, because... Back at, um... Rocks... Fire Isles, was it? There is a ship there that actually had a piece of heart. And I might as well check out these because there's, you know, those little rings. And more silver rupees. I just want to check them out just to be safe. And I think I missed. Oh no, I did miss. Probably just some rupees and stuff, but I want to check anyway. And then after we get the Triver's chart there, I'll probably be done for the part. That was a cool glow effect that it had thanks to the orb. And more rupees. I'm just really making sure of things, honestly. Well, the textures look kind of weird there. Uh, I'm more lit up than it should have been. Useless. 
You know what? Actually, I'll check out that platform first. And then we'll just head in there, get a chart, and then call it a day. I mean, yeah, it might be smarter to, you know, just go in there, go in there, get the chart, and then just go here. Because, you know, the next island's near it. But, eh. I don't know. I'm just doing this because I can. And suddenly watch how thanks to this, all the ships have spawned again. Oh, for God's sake! I thought I had the bow equipped. Oh wow, that cancelled out the fire. Didn't think it would. So that was probably more trouble than it was worth, actually. Why is it not blowing up the barrels? Okay, now it is. Joy pendant, I'm... I'm calling it joy pendant. Skull necklace. Still useless. Actually, it's useful if you want to give it to, um, Old Man Pedophile. I know, I know, I should have just gone to Traverse Chart, and then come here. I wanted to do this, because I wanted to end the part off with something better. The orbs are still there? Wow. I did not expect that. What the... Really? Oh, well, at least I got some hearts out of it. Really, King of Reliance? You can't get past an orb. Okay. That's a money and items. And hearts when I already had them. That was probably had a lot of money in it. So there are like only a few there's only a few Travis charts left really at this point. Okay, so I guess this is where I'm gonna end up the part. Next time on Legends of the Wind Waker, we are going to collect lots of the Triforce charts, get everything else in the game, such as treasure charts and hard pieces, and then we're going to go confront Ganondorf. I will see you all later. Thank you all for watching.